This episode of CLP TV is brought to you by Leica Microsystems. Leica Microsystems brings histopathology laboratories and researchers the highest quality, most comprehensive product range. Hello and welcome to CLP TV. I'm John Doherty. Some of the stories we'll be looking at today include a study faulting the FDA's medical device review process, a discovery that might one day make colonoscopies a thing of the past, and a look at how fusion proteins can trigger cancer. But first, our top story. Nearly $7 billion seals the deal for Beckman Coulter. The Danaher Corporation bought the medical tool and chemical manufacturer for $6.8 billion last month. Beckman Coulter has endured several negative events this past year, including a high number of false positives on blood protein tests, an FDA instituted recall, and an FDA warning letter for marketing products without proper clearance. But with this new agreement, with Danaher, things are looking up. Beckman Coulter will become part of Danaher's Life Sciences and Diagnostics segment, joining Leica, AB Sciax, Radiometer, and Molecular Devices businesses. Lawrence Culp is the CEO of Danaher. He calls the acquisition a high-fit, high-opportunity deal that will allow the company to unlock the value at Beckman. None of the 2,000 Beckman employees will lose their jobs in this buyout. Leica Microsystems has introduced Leica Direct, a fast, easy, and secure way to purchase histology consumables and general laboratory supplies online. Tim Lyons is the Global Marketing Communications Director at Leica Microsystems. He says, we are excited to offer customers a personalized online service for ordering our wide range of consumables. Leica Direct means customers now have 24-hour access, order tracking, recent order history, and flexible account terms. You can start shopping with Leica Direct today at www.leica-microsystems.com forward slash shop. A new study says the FDA needs to take a closer look at its product approval process. The National Research Center for Women and Families and the Department of Cardiovascular Medicine at the Cleveland Clinic in Ohio conducted the study. They found that most of the medical devices recalled in recent years were cleared through the less stringent 501k program. This is an abbreviated approval system that doesn't require testing on patients. The study shows that of the 113 devices that were recalled between 2005 and 2009, 80 of them were allowed on the market through the 501k program. About a third of those devices were cardiovascular products. The lead researcher says the products originally cleared with the 501k process were considered so low risk by the FDA that they were exempt from review. But the study concludes reform of the process is necessary to ensure the safety of the devices. The Advanced Medical Technology Association disagrees. It says the study is flawed because it looks at the number of recalls without comparing it to the number of devices that did not have problems. The AMTA says more than 99% of devices cleared through the 501k process don't face recalls. The complete study is in the archives of internal medicine. You may never have to have a colonoscopy. Researchers at the University of Missouri-Columbia have developed a new method of predicting colon cancer using genetic biomarkers. The researchers found biomarkers in mouse feces that predicted inflammation-associated colon cancer. The team found that the inflammation can be detected by screening feces for messenger RNA in genes. The group believes this discovery could lead to tests for similar genes in people with early inflammation-associated colon cancer. The Leica Polaris II is an all-in-one tissue processor for improved workflows, reduced turnaround times, and same-day diagnosis. It processes up to 600 cassettes and dual retorts allow unmatched scheduling flexibility plus simultaneous premium processing for differing tissue. This versatile processor performs varied tasks including rapid, overnight, xylene or xylene-free processing for small or large batches, along with Leica Surgipath consumables, Leica Polaris II offers a total tissue processing solution. For more information, visit www.leica-microsystems.com. The new power couple isn't from Hollywood. It's from a potentially deadly protein. When two proteins fuse together in a subset of lymphomas, they become like a power couple, where the whole is greater than the sum of the parts. Researchers at the University of Michigan Comprehensive Cancer Center discovered that when one protein fuses with an enzyme called NIC, the other protein comes in for the kill, splitting NIC in two. And when cleaved, NIC is stronger than ever. NIC acts like a renegade protein that allows cancer cells to grow, spread, and resist traditional treatments. 
This may sound like bad news, but researchers say this fusion points to a new way of activating the NIC enzyme, which means it can become a target for developing new therapies. Researchers are also excited because this could lead to new drugs that block cancer-causing activity. And bedside research helps some of the most serious stroke cases. The researchers found that using thermoscientific mass spectrometers leads to stronger evaluation and treatment options. The study specifically looked at patent foramen ovale and its connection to strokes. PFO is a congenital heart problem that leaves a hole between the right and left side of the heart, allowing blood clots to travel from the leg to the brain. The lead researcher says using the mass spectrometer right at a patient's bedside helps build a crucial bridge from research to treatment and gathers information in real time. Thermo Fisher Scientific, Massachusetts General Hospital, and Harvard University collaborated on the study. This episode of CLP-TV is brought to you by Leica Microsystems. And that concludes this episode of CLP-TV. We'll see you next time.